I hope you guys can see a little better. I changed my lights. So maybe with the lights that I have now, they're supposed to be natural sunlight. So maybe now you're going to be able to see the colors more on my skin. Because I feel like the last makeup tutorial that I had, my Bobbi Brown one, that was really difficult to see what I was putting on my face. And I tried to change out my computer, but it was still too bright and too orange, yellowish at the same time. So hopefully this is going to work out a little better. Right now, I'm breaking out a lot. I have a lot of breakouts right now. I have some on my forehead. They're like little clogged pores. I already used my moisturizer, which I use the Clinique Moisturizing Lotion Plus. I love that moisturizer because it's just really hydrating. And at the same time, like it gives me a really good base for my skin. It leaves my skin really like nice and plump. So since I have a little more breakouts than I usually do, I'm gonna be using my Revlon Color Stay Whipped Foundation. I try to focus on the center of my face and then I take it up because I don't have a lot of acne on um, my cheeks over here, so I don't want a lot of heavy foundation where I don't need it. That makes sense. The color that I'm using, by the way, it's too. I want you guys to let me know whether you want me to do more voiceovers or just talk to you on the camera. Because I honestly have fun making both of them. It's just I want to know what's more appealing to you guys so you guys can watch my videos. Moving on to the eyes, as you guys can see, I already did this one. Now we're gonna do this one. So I already primed my eyelids and I put my trusty Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And after that, I, I actually, I was gonna start doing my eye and then I realized I was like, wait, no, that's what I have to film, stop. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna put it all over my eyelid. Which had a cool British accent, but I don't. Okay. So, okay. So I'm gonna put this all over my eyelid, all the way to your brow bone. I know some eye people might think like, what? No, don't do that. But yes, because you want that little the highlight right there. And then, my friends, we're gonna take a blending brush and we're gonna take the color Stark, which is I would say is like a milky brown. Can you see that? Okay, so now I'm gonna take this one, which is so right here. It's more of a warm toned brown. I'm gonna tap it and I'm gonna put this on my crease too. Try to stay away from your the middle of your eyelid, okay? Because we're gonna be putting a light eyeshadow right there. So and I don't know if you guys can tell. Can you look at the side and then look at this one? This is like, bam! And this one's like, hi, I'm in love. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, take this and put it right here. And then I'm gonna take this one right here. And I'm gonna put this right here to my crease. I'm gonna take a smaller blending brush and I'm gonna take punk and a little bit of Sirius right here, which is a gray, shimmer gray, and then a maroon. Tap it, and I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna try to focus on my outer corner, my V right here. Okay, you see that? So after taking that, I'm gonna go with my ring finger, and I'm, I'm gonna take Blondie, which is right here. It's like a really white French vanilla kind of shade. And I'm gonna put that right on the center of my ring. Take some of that too, and put it right on my brow bone. After I do that, I'm gonna go back with my blending brush. I'm gonna take that milky white brown shade. I'm just gonna, which was stark, I'm just gonna try to blend everything out. 
For my concealer, I'm gonna take my eyeshadow blending brush, which I don't use for eyeshadow, and my Heart Candy um, concealer. I'm gonna try to clean my eyeshadow over here too. And then I'm gonna go down. Okay, I'm back. I don't know where my camera cut off. I think I was doing my concealer so that after I did my concealer, I dragged it down. And then I took a little eyeshadow brush. Oop, just dropped it. And I took the same maroon colored punk and then I put it right under my lash line right here. I'm gonna take my eyeliner and I'm using the one I always use which is the Linear Intense by L'Oreal Paris. Okay and now I'm just gonna do a cap. We're gonna take, we're gonna do my eyebrow. And for that, I'm gonna take the one I always use, which is my Lorac. Um, my camera's flashing, it's gonna die. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows with this. BRB! Now I'm gonna do my mascara, and I'm using my Lash Blast CoverGirl mascara. Eyes are done. Now the rest of the face is pretty easy. I'm gonna take my, it's just this one right here. It's a very famous, a lot of people like it. It's a bronzer, but also can be used as a blush. So I just kinda take a big fluffy brush and I put it all over my face. And I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever lipstick in the color 6N. I have a little one. Little baby lipstick. I'm just gonna put on my lips. So here's the final look for my makeup. You guys like it? Um, it's, it was really easy to do, like I did it really quick. Yeah. Mm, this is my makeup. But for my birthday, I actually got it done that day. I went and got a haircut and he blew dry my hair. It was awesome. It looked really pretty, so I'll try to put pictures for you. Maybe you can see my hair a little better. The night before, I did a face mask, and I did the Aztec Beauty face mask. And also, very soon, my friends, I'm going to be making a My Favorite Face Mask kind of video. So stay tuned for that, because it's pretty cool. I love skincare, and you guys can see that. But yeah, I did that the night before. I pampered myself. I did my nails, which look really bad right now, but I did them. They look nice for my birthday, and I had the best day. It was awesome. Okay, well guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you I hope you enjoyed and please like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all. Besos, hasta la próxima. Bye.